I will start by showing credibility, bro. So this is my workout like tracker, as you can see. I've been extremely consistent. And this one day, it's not a day that I skipped from the gym. It's just I changed a little bit my training program at the time. And I did like an upper day instead of a push pull. So this is my training. But there is another good habit that a lot of people do. And it is meditation. So this is my current strike. 86 days in a row of 20 minutes of meditation every day. Then if I will go to the stats, I will show you. You see? I had a strike of 341 days and this app just reset this strike for some reason. And this is my quick ability bro. And now I will teach you how I managed to do that. But it's not just with this habit. I managed to be consistent with all of the good habits that you always hear about. I've managed to not miss a day from reading for the last like 60 or 70 days. And before that I missed like one day. And I've read almost 60 books in the last 2 years. Even more. I don't really count them anymore. I've been extremely consistent. I've also committed to run every day 3 kilometers for 4 months I didn't skip a day and it's all due to 2 things and the first thing is boredom in the last 1 year I've been on an extreme self improvement protocol I choose 3 domains to focus on and these are fitness, money, youtube and like intelligence I want to become more intelligent, smarter and the only thing that I do is reading meditating for mental wellness so this is like a meta skill and making videos and uh, training in the gym and running I don't do any destructive habit like watching anime and playing video games and all of these destructive habits that takes away my mental clarity, my ability to work. The bad habits, this bad habit that you might do, they are increasing your baseline level of comfort. And when your baseline level of comfort is increased, the hard work, the frictionless work, the thing that you don't really feel like doing becomes so much harder. And if you are doing the bad habits and the good ones, like in two states, you don't feel boredom, you are increase the friction of doing the good ones to such an extent that doing them becomes almost impossible. I remember when I watched anime, when I first tried to improve my life, reading books became so boring and I didn't want to do that. And now I desire reading, I like it. And that's because I quit the bad habits. And the second thing is my identity. I see myself as someone who never skips a gym session. As someone who never make excuses to why he need to take a day off. I don't take days off. My life built in such a way that I don't need a day off. That's why I can deliberately transfer my identity of someone who never takes a day off every night before sleep. I take my phone and I just try ponder. I am someone who never skips the gym. I am extremely consistent with any good habit that I do. And that strength and my identity of someone who do these good habits. And my actions follow this identity and strengthen it at the same time. And I never skip the gym and I never skip the good habits because of my identity. And another thing is the winner effect. You know what is the hardest part when it comes to being consistent? It is to start. Because after you start, the chances that you will skip the next workout get lower. That's why you need to force yourself to start and after that you will have such an easier time sticking to these good habits and when you don't feel like it, remind yourself of your identity and go and use discipline and trust me bro, after doing the good habits you will feel so much better, you will be so glad that you didn't skip the gym today, that you didn't skip the meditation session and that's what I want you to remember from this video, you will never regret a good workout. David Goggins never took days off and if you want to learn how he managed to do that, you can click on this video.